Well, in this video here, we're going to explore the analysis mode, and additionally, in addition to that, we're going to explore the info key here, which is basically an extended version of analysis mode. So how you get into the analysis mode, first of all, you go into menu, go over to analysis, and then you just hit enter. It goes from this minus sign to this sort of diagonal thing. And then you hit clear, and now you go back to the board, and it's going to be cycling through the numerical evaluation of the position, the first move of the main line, and later on I'll show you how to look through the first, uh, I think it goes up to five moves of the main line. I'll show you how to do that and a depth um, that is searching and also it's, it's, it'll cycle through time in analysis mode but not in the info key but I'll show you that so let's just say you got a PGN of a tournament game you was just playing in and your opponent played E4 you played knight F6 and for some reason your pawn I mean your opponent went knight to E2 and blundered a pawn and you took that pawn now, if you look at the now, if you look at the um, at the uh, analysis here, it 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 um, shows the, the 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 numerical value of the position, the um, depth, uh, the first line of the main move, and the time that it's been thinking. All right. So now let's go back. Oh, let's go back to uh, le let's go back to analysis. Turn that off. Come back to here. Now let's do the info key. We hit info, you'll cycle, you see the little eye flash and you'll be cycling through the numerical score. You will uh, see the depth that it was last searching at. If it's, if it's on its, if it's searching, it'll actually be moving here if, if you had it on its move. And, um, and now it's gonna show you the main line. So move three for white move three for black, move four for white, move four for black, move five for white, move five for black, move six for white, moves. And so I guess it moves, I think it's about four or five moves, something like that, that it, um, I haven't really analyzed uh, what it does, but anyway, it will show you several moves. And the info key, once you hit it again, it doesn't show you the time that it's thinking it'll cycle back to this, uh, numerical value here. So now what we're going to do, we're going to do something a little different now. We're going to we're going to actually hit new, enter, we're going to play a game, and we're just going to move a piece. And I'm going to let the computer move a piece. And then we're going to go from here, and we're just going to look at um, how these things work in real time if you was actually playing against a computer, for example. So while the computer is thinking, you see the little hourglass turning here, and you see the little black squares flashing. That means it's blacks thinking to move. And um, he should be moving here in a few seconds. It shouldn't take that long to, to um, have a 10 minute game. I should have set it to like one second so it wouldn't take so long here. And um, if he doesn't move in a few minutes, okay, so he went knight f6. All right. So now, being that we've only made one move and the book is not loaded, let's just take a look at the info. The info <coughs> is evaluating the position that this is a numerical evaluation. This is the depth that it last thought at. This is the main line. I'm gonna just scroll through that really quickly. And we are back to that, all right? So now, if we go to menu, let's go to analysis and see what we got. Because don't forget, you're playing a computer this time. You hit this, and now you're gonna cycle through the analysis. Now, as you notice, the analysis has a different number than the info. I think the info appears to be what number that it last stored, but analysis is like active. So anyway, um, I know that was just going to be, I'm trying to make this video quick and just give you an illustration of how it works. So this is an illustration of how the analysis mode work and what the info button here will also show you. Additionally, I want to say that I will have some special videos up this weekend. I know one for sure. It may be tonight, actually. I'm, I'm not going to say 100%. Maybe tomorrow. I'm not definitely tomorrow, Sunday. But it might be two videos coming this weekend. Very, very top secret stuff that I had, I had, I have going on in the background. But anyway, 
Um, you guys uh, appreciate you all watching. Please subscribe, share, and like. I intend to keep these videos coming. And if you want to support the channel, please uh, use also use the, the uh, links in the description to support the channel that way. But with that said, you guys have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks.